All right. Hey, y'all. Welcome back for um, the embodying of the Divine Feminine. Uh, today's day two. We have Mary of Nazareth, the Mother of God. I am blessed. I My courage gives birth to the Divine. All right. Mary of Nather Nazareth represents the profound spiritual and creative power we all possess. Mary, or Miriam in Hebrew, is a first century Galilean Jewish woman from Nazareth who is one of the most crucial figures in Christian tradition for having given birth to Jesus. I'm quiet right now because I think that when we're talking about the Middle East and we're talking about Judaism and Palestine, um, and Israel, it's important to notice and pay attention to what's happening right now. Um, so I'm going to keep reading what the person who put this together has said um, and, and put in this book, but I want us to be critical about the way that the word Israel has been placed instead of Palestine. Um, I think that's really important for this, okay? Okay. Mary has been venerated since the inception of Christianity and also holds a revered position in Islam. Um, it goes on to talk about her many names. I'm going to skip that. Um, the Gospel of Luke relates that when Mary is engaged to Joseph, the archangel Gabriel visited her. Gabriel announced, What joy! Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. The angel then said, The Holy Spirit will descend on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and therefore the child will be called the Holy Son of God. And Mary responds, Let it be with me as you have said. Mary is present throughout her son's ministry when he appears at the temple at the age of 12 and declares that it is his true home when he turns water into wine at the wedding of, in Cana and when he is crucified she is said to have remained at his side with Mary Magdalene. She personifies the steadfast and unconditional love of the archetypal mother. The title Mother of God or Theotokos um, which sounds like Greek was recognized in the Council of Euphius, Euphesus in 431 CE and best captures the power of her yes to the Archangel Gabriel. He hands her a lily in the um, Annunciation. I don't know what that word is, to symbolize the Trinity and to honor the fact that within, without her yes, the Christian story could not have unfolded when your soul selects her card i've always imagined that mary is terrified to hear an angel loudly announcing that she was meant to be the mother of god her surrender to gabriel's words feels so contagious and too unacknowledged mary has no idea what she will have what she will be met with and what will be asked of her or what is love for her son will put her through but she says yes nonetheless, so that she can be in service of the divine. Mary's acceptance of her role has been in the shadow of the Christian story, uncelebrated, because she is seen as so divine. But she was human too. She could have said no. Her courage could have faltered, but she aligned with the light. She heard Gabriel's <clears throat> words, be not afraid, and allowed the divine story to work through her. And she let joy dictate her response. Mary leads us to trust that we, can, that we can say yes to what feels light. It doesn't have to make sense or work with the ultimate or the timeline the ego has mapped out for us. In the midst of, of our ordinary everyday lives, we can say yes to the angel who greets us in the space of our heart and let the energy and joy give birth to the divine through us. I'm going to read that part again. We can say yes to the angel or energy or idea, okay, um, who greets us in the space of our heart, all right, 
and let the energy of joy give birth to the divine through us. That doesn't mean we all need to be making babies. It means that we are creative beings, right? And when we feel inspired, honor that by following through. All right? We continue to decolonize. We continue to open ourselves up to embodying divinity. Um, and we remember that... Uh, man has written doctrine, right? Um, and so, and also, even with the defined feminine deck, it was written by a human. Um, and things that we know to be true today, right? Um, we can think critically about even advice that we're getting, okay? Um, let the divine work through you is the ultimate teaching here. Um, regardless of belief, religion, the way maps have changed, genocide's happening, things like that. Ultimately, be open to following your own ideas and create, okay? Have a good one.